I wanted to wear a girl's bathing suit because I was at the lake with my mom, my aunt, and my girl cousin. Everyone had the girl bathing and suit. And you were four. And I was four, and I had to wear the boy bathing suit, and I didn't like that because I wanted to match the people around me. Well, if they took me to some gender therapy and started drugging me and hormoning me, I'd be a super fucked up guy right now. I'm already a fucked up guy, but I'd be super fucked. I don't think you would. What do you, you don't think I take hormone therapy? No, I, I, I don't think a four-year-old <laughs> would have developed into something that he's genetically not. Well, that, that's what's happening now. They're drugging yeah, the kids. That, that they're is actually, true. They're cutting off their penises. They're drugging them. Like, oh, dude, this wait, is- what? Yes. Dude, and then and then Yo, the guy who's, grows who's up and he's penis like- penis is getting cut off as a four-year-old? There's, the parents are making yep. decisions that my my child is exhibiting signs that they have bec- that they are the wrong yeah, they say birth my, gender. No, no problem. But when you cut off their penis- When, when he when decides you, yeah. they're going to do that. Well, dude, that, and see, look at your face. You're like, well, bro, this is- Well, you can't just cut off a four-year-old's penis. It's happening. They are doing bro, it. You, no, it's not. No. Is that happening? Yeah, dude, that's what, happening. Let's, 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 hold on. Let's, let's make sure we get this no, right. And, and there's if, guys- If they're not cutting off penises at a young age, they I, I've seen stories of them of people starting to administer hormones yeah, to estrogen, reverse- estrogen, to give them breasts correct. and all sorts of stuff. It's and super And so the, fun, question is, the question is, at what age- does someone become old enough to say, I am not what I was born. I am what I am mentally. Well, and the other, no, the other question is, do you have a mental dis- disease? Is that called gender dysphoria, which they used to like medicate people for? I'm like, hey, dude, you're mentally messed up. So like, this is, guys, this is where we're at. Like we're talking yeah, about like, the most uh, messed up stuff. Yeah, but like- ADHD could be considered a mental disease. I don't think ADHD is a disease, dude. I think it's a, me either, dude. It's a survival. It's a survival mechanism. No, I agree, but like, yeah. so it's, it's not a, a disease. disorder. I don't think depression's a disease or anxiety either. Do I think believe, those are. Do you think those exist? Yeah, they're survival mechanisms, though. Anxiety is you're afraid about the future, okay. and depression is you're living in the past. But those are survival mechanisms for you to survive in your environment. But that have just wrong. gone too. Well, that's because your environment's fucked up. Like, like in this book, I talk about. Uh, there's a, there's a guy who wrote The Human Zoo. His name's Desmond Morris. And his, his thesis is he says, look, in a normal habitat, like the na- in nature, animals do not self-mutilate. They don't hom- form homosexual pair bonds. They don't get ulcers. They don't go crazy. And he said, when you start cramming animals into small environments in zoos, they masturbate, they cut themselves, they form homosexual pair bonds. And all those fucked up things in society are from density. So when you go to high dense areas, all this screwed up stuff happens. And when you put the guy in the forest where he's supposed to be in a normal density place, he's okay. You're saying animals aren't homosexual in nature? In density. So if the density- Yeah, you're saying they aren't naturally. I'm saying if the density in nature, if you cram a whole bunch of lions in like a small place, they'll do all sorts of weird stuff. They'll start to exist. But if you you let them spread out in their normal space, they won't. I don't believe that. Desmond Morris, he's a zoologist. Fuck he's Desmond in the Morris. No, you can't there's, say there's that. There's no way that's no, true. No, he's probably studied it and you're just making a statement. Well, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not, no I'm not saying you're wrong, but let's not say well, fuck someone a, whose a, life works. That's all I'm that's getting That's his at. job, yeah. Re- I want to I touch on this really quick. Sex change treatment for kids on the rise. A small but growing number of teens and even younger children who think they were born the wrong sex are getting support from parents and doctors who give them sex changing treatments. Um, an eight-year-old second grader in Los Angeles is a typical patient. Born a girl, the child announces at 18 months, I am a boy, and has stuck with this belief. The family is shocked, but now refers to the child as a boy and is watching for first signs of puberty to begin treatment. Pediatricians need to know these kids exist and deserve treatment. 18 months, a year and a half, deciding that I am the wrong gender. And then the parents and doctors saying, well, he's got a point, let's switch him over. No, make passing no judgment here. Maybe I will in the future. On this show, I'm not. But that is the current state of things. It's a thing, yeah. No species has been found in which homosexual behavior has not been shown to exist. Yeah, you're, but that doesn't talk about s- density, though. Yeah, that doesn't say in what setting. Seems, uh, Desmond Morris, the. 